Superpowers. The journey of a relatable hero. About him. The protagonist, Max, was a young man in his late twenties. He had a loose mouth and his ironic and sarcastic remarks were unavoidable. Most people either loved him for it or just found him annoying. Max never had much luck in life. His parents had died in a car accident when he was a teenager. Since then, he had learned to take care of himself. He had had jobs as a bartender to keep his head above water and had developed a passion for motorcycles and fast cars. One day, Max noticed that he had an unusual ability. He could inexplicably move objects just by thinking about them. He couldn't believe it at first and tried to ignore it. But as he experienced the phenomenon again and again, he realized it was real. He was amazed and frightened at the same time. Max had never heard of anyone who could do such a thing. He was unsure whether to tell anyone or not. Finally, he decided to keep it to himself until he could figure out what it meant and how to deal with it. The Discovery of the Ability Max was working in the bar as usual, chatting with the patrons, when he suddenly noticed that a bottle he was watching with his mind was moving. Amazed, he watched as it suddenly landed on the counter without him touching it. Confused and intrigued by this event, he began to test his skills further. He quickly discovered that he had control over the things and people around him. He could move, change and manipulate them without having to touch them directly. At first he was excited by this unusual ability, but soon realized that he had no idea how to control it. His thoughts kept wandering to how he could best use this ability and whether he should tell other people. Max was gripped by fear of what would happen to him if he did not control his abilities and they were discovered by others. He felt crushed by the weight of his new powers and didn't know how to handle them. First Tests and Difficulties Max was excited about his new ability and began testing it. He started moving and controlling small objects, but he quickly learned that his ability had limits and he could not control it completely. Sometimes he felt like a child trying to keep control of a roller coaster. One day, a patron came into the bar who was aggressive and agitated. Max tried to calm him down, but when the guest approached him, Max released his mind out of fear and controlled the guest. The guest suddenly fell to the floor and seriously injured himself. The other guests in the bar were horrified and Max knew he had a problem. Max began to understand that he was not in complete control of his ability. He began to research his ability and trained himself to better control his ability. He realized that he had a responsibility and that he should never use his ability on other people. Despite his efforts, Max still had difficulty fully controlling his ability. There were moments when he accidentally moved or controlled things he didn't want to. But he learned to deal with these challenges and eventually found a way to balance his ability with his life as a bartender. The Search for Answers Max was frustrated that he could not fully control his ability. He wondered if there were other people with similar abilities and if they might have a solution to his problems. Max began searching for answers and spent hours on the internet looking for clues and guidance. Eventually, Max came across an online community of people with extraordinary abilities. He read their stories and was amazed at how similar their experiences sounded. Max knew he wasn't alone and that there was hope to better control his ability. In the community, Max met a woman named Emily who had similar abilities to his. Emily was experienced in using her ability and offered to help Max. Max was skeptical at first, but he quickly realized that Emily knew what she was talking about. Emily showed Max techniques to control his ability and explained the physiology behind his abilities. Max was grateful for Emily's help and her friendship. He felt like he finally understood who he was and how to control his ability. He spent more time with the community and met other people who had similar abilities. Max knew he was no longer alone and that he had a community that helped him better understand and control his ability. The training and the fight. Max started a hard training with Emily. He was eager to get better control of his abilities and she was ready to help him. Max quickly realized that she was not only smart, but also persistent. 
The training was exhausting and Max often had to push himself beyond his limits. But he knew it was the only way to improve his skills and learn to control them completely. During the training, Max realized that he had fallen in love with the woman. However, he didn't know if she could trust him or if she had her own secret plans. Max was ready to do anything to prove to her that he was trustworthy. Finally, they met a man with similar abilities. He challenged Max and the woman to a fight. Max knew he had to do his best to win. The fight was long and tiring, but Max and the woman finally managed to defeat the man. Max was proud of himself and of the woman he had worked with. He knew he was now ready to use his skills to do good and help others. But he also knew that he had to be careful, because there were other people with similar abilities who did not always have good intentions. The Decision Max had decided to use his abilities for good. He wanted to help others and protect them. He was tired of hiding his ability and finally wanted to be a hero. He told Emily that he loved her and asked her if she wanted to be with him. Emily was surprised and replied that she loved him too, but that they shouldn't use their powers so lightly. She explained that it could be dangerous to go up against criminals and bad guys who might also have supernatural powers. But Max was determined, and Emily finally agreed to help him. They began training to improve their skills and prepare to fight criminals. One day they received a call from a man who needed help. He was threatened by a criminal who had similar skills to Max. Max and Emily rushed to the scene and saw the criminal threatening a group of people. Max and the criminal came face to face. The criminal attacked Max and moved him through the air with his powers. But Max was prepared and was able to recover quickly. He attacked the criminal and controlled him with his powers. The two fought each other with all their might while Emily tried to keep the innocent people safe. Finally, Max was able to overpower the criminal and hand him over to the police. He had used his skills to do the right thing and protect others. Max and Emily were relieved that everything had turned out well and decided to continue together to fight criminals and do good. The Farewell Max knew he had to start a new life, to use his skills for good and to help others. He said goodbye to his friends at the bar and decided to start a new chapter. With Emily by his side, Max began working as a superhero. They protected people and helped fight crime. Max was relieved that he could finally use his abilities for good and was happy to have Emily by his side. Their first mission together was against a criminal who wanted to rob a bank. Max and Emily intervened and fought the criminal and his accomplices. Max noticed that his training with Emily paid off as he gained better control of his abilities. The fight was tough and Max got hurt, but he and Emily managed to defeat the criminal and save the bank. Max knew he was ready for this new life and that with Emily by his side, he could do anything. They decided to start a new adventure together and help others in need. Max knew it wouldn't be easy, but with Emily by his side, he knew he could do anything. Together they walked into a new future, ready for whatever fate had in store for them. Summary So, this epic saga is about Max, the bartender who one day suddenly discovers that he has telekinetic powers, and who wouldn't want to become a superhero right away if they had such abilities. Max certainly would. Max quickly learns